America versus Japan. I mean, how does how, it doesn't get much better than that because we all know Mount Midoriyama, it started in Japan. Three competitors have successfully completed Mount Midoriyama in Japan, and now here we are. We've got America, USA versus Japan. Five guys going head to head. I mean, this this is where you really, I mean, this is where we show America, our guys, they're, they're saying, we can do it, we've been able to do it, we're ready to do it, and now it's like kind of the proof's in the pudding. Lay it all out, head to head, and we're gonna see who's gonna come away, and uh, I know they got a lot of USA flags, so hopefully uh, USA is gonna prevail, but uh, I'm just looking forward to a great competition. Well, seeing that we know that three Japan competitors have actually completed Mount Midoriyama, one would think that they've got a leg up on the competition, and I would say that that's pretty fair, but our Americans have been running the course. They've already competed for our whole USA finals, so I think they're going to be a little bit more familiar with the course. Obviously, the Japan are going to get a chance to run it, but uh, I don't know. I think this is a year for USA. I think, I think, I think we're going to pull this one out. You know, the fact that the Americans have already run this course, right? You talk about home field advantage, you talk about in sports everywhere. They're familiar with it. This is their own home ground. They didn't have to take a multiple hour flight to get here. Japan might be a little jet lag. So I certainly think uh, the home turf is going to play to the Americans' advantage for sure.